I like to entertain and I have a lot of friends, a lot of family come to visit me here in the Hamptons. One of my favorite rooms is the kitchen in the house because everybody loves to be in the kitchen so I want it to be big and comfortable and cozy at the same time. So it's like an eclectic mix of things that um, I've collected from all over the world. Uh, I also renovated a bit in here. I got a Viking stove and I put a backsplash which is uh, Moroccan tiles that I waited a really long time for but they look fabulous so I'm glad that I waited. Um, this is actually a bull's head that I bought when I was uh, on a trip to Haiti. And I had a couch specially made for the kitchen because um, it's big, but it's a little narrow with this long, big country table that I have. So I had it made special order um, for this area of the house. Um, and here across the room, I have a still life from the 19th century oil painting that I've had for years. And on each side are some French Louis the 16th mirrors that just give it that special um, touch of eclecticness. So it's really kind of country, French chateau meets chalet, I would say. So a great country kitchen has a great country table. Um, this is one that I special ordered for because I needed a special size for this room and I had it made with extensions so I could have like 16 people at this table. So this makes you know the kitchen feel really warm and cozy and I wanted the chairs to be really comfy and uh, upholstered because I really wanted this room to feel comfortable that you want to hang out in it and you don't have to leave. So it makes a great area to kind of just hang out with the family, have long discussions about life, and uh, eat really good food. So not only do I love to entertain in the kitchen, but I have a great flower garden outside, and these are some of my hydrangeas from outside. They don't smell, but they look pretty. It's been great having you guys. Thanks for coming to visit.